Hi there guys, welcome back to another awesome episode here on Alia Homes. Today we're about to tour this most beautiful luxury boutique villa behind me, nestled on Lion's Head at the very top of Fresne. A little bit about the house, it has nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms, 3,027 square meters of earth area and a full-size tennis court. It is incredible guys, it has luxury Balinese style interiors and finish. Before we go in to check it out, I'd like to thank Lance Cohn for allowing us to tour this beautiful listing that he has available today. All right, guys, I think it's time we go inside and take a look. Come with me. Alright guys, so right now we're standing right outside the front door at this beautiful entranceway. As soon as you arrive at the property, you feel immediately transported into Bali. You've got this beautiful lush greenery that almost makes it feel like a jungle. The traditional wooden features above me and the water fountain, the water feature, just the sound of the water, the lush greenery. It is magnificent out here. You've got a wonderful driveway, let me show you. It can fit around five cars on the driveway and you've got a double garage and a single garage. What's unique about this single garage is there is space and equipment already installed for a generator if you wish to install one. And over here behind me, you've got your security uh, room with a bathroom and the beautiful cladded wooden uh, gate for the drive. All right guys, let's head back to the front door and talk about that a little bit. Just look at the beautiful architecture really boutique looking. I love the plants and look at these doors. A magnificent feature, very traditional. I love the wood. I think it's time we go inside and take a look. Come on through, stepping inside, you can immediately feel the Balinese luxury boutique essence of the home, beginning with this wonderful staircase, the solid wooden flooring. I love the skylight above bringing natural light into this area. I love the fans, the lush greenery that continues into the house from the outside, the lighting features around me. This is fabulous. All right, guys, firstly, I would like to show you the guest powder room situated right next to the entranceway, if you'd like to come on in. Every room and bathroom in this house has a unique style and unique elements. I love this water basin here that they have as the sink, pure stone, red colors around, and the water color closet. Okay, let's step on outside, the guest bathroom. There is another guest bathroom on the other level downstairs. Coming down this beautiful staircase, just look at these architectural features here, like these, the window cutouts. You really feel very much transported to Bali in this house. Now this is the uh, living room area. This is a lounge to my left. Beautiful ceilings, beautiful windows. I love the sash windows that they have. Everything in this house is quite traditional. If you'd like to come with me this way, there's a very special room I'd like to show you. Got a nice space there under the staircase as well. 
Now, just look at this. Look at the wooden details. I just, so traditional, super boutique luxury. And I'm sure you can really see what's inside. My favorite room, let's step on in. Look at the ample size, more than enough seating for just your family. You can have friends and family around, have a really incredible occasion in here. You can hold beautiful wine tasting sessions. And I think I would say you can hold around 5,000 bottles in, of wine in here. So if you are a wine collector, this is a perfect spot for you. And also the room is temperature controlled. It's at the back of the house. Look how large it is. This is absolutely fantastic. I would love to have this as my wine cellar. Really traditional. And looking at this wooden door now before I step out, I'm not gonna guarantee it, but it looks like they have been imported from Bali because of the writing and the script that I can see on the door. I will try and confirm that in the description below. All right guys, stepping on outside the wine room, let's move forward. Over here, you've got the second guest powder room. Let's have a look. Like I mentioned, every room you will see has a unique design. This has a wonderful textured wall behind, another wooden vanity area, single marble basin, mirrors. It's nice and fresh. Let's step on outside. This is the family TV room, like a cozy room. The light is flooding in. Got beautiful views from here of the sea as well. Got a fan above, a lovely wooden detailed cabinetry with a TV set in over there and a couple of windows. All right guys, stepping outside of the family TV room, it's a good time to mention that this house does have surround sound built in all the way from the front gate down to the tennis court. Yes, so the entire outside, including the parking, has the same sound system all connected, which is super cool. All right guys, this is the formal dining room once again, the Balinese style continues here. It opens up to a beautiful courtyard, which you can have a look at. It does have a water feature. It's not on right now. Lovely greenery around me. Really nice and fresh air for your guests to have while you're dining at the table. Just transporting everyone to Bali, I would say. It's incredible to have this because from your dining room, you also have beautiful views of the Atlantic Ocean. Palm trees on the horizon as well in front. This is super very. This is super cool. Lovely table here, more of an informal dining area. This is another lounge area with a fireplace, wooden fireplace. I love the exposed wooden beams above. Very traditional. I love it, very boutique style. I think for this house, as it being nine bedrooms, you could have it as a boutique hotel as well, um, just due to the amenities, the size, and not having nine bedrooms. All right, moving this way. Love the arch doorway. We're gonna move into the kitchen. Stepping on in, to the kitchen area, you can immediately see marble tops throughout all the surfaces. Lovely island with a gas top stove. I love this crystal chandelier. LEDs above, moving on around. You've got your built-in cabinetry, dark wooden design, got your double oven. So here you've got the dishwasher, built-in appliances throughout this kitchen, including a double fridge and a double freezer. I love this island. You've got the chairs below. You know, the, in this kitchen, now you're starting to feel the European style elements of the house. Stepping on outside, it does come into a beautiful courtyard. Right now, they have these lovely, a lovely bonsai garden, which I think is quite fabulous. In the sun, it's lovely. I love the stones. There's a lovely water feature flowing throughout over here. I think this continues even further down into the garden as well. Down the steps there, you can go to the lower part of the garden, which we'll explore in the moment. Stepping on up this way, I will show us the first bedroom of the house actually. Come up to marble steps. This is an outdoor cottage for guests or family that come around and actually to my right are the staff quarters. It's got two bedrooms. Okay, lovely courtyard here, uh, lovely terrace I mean, sorry. Coming on inside, traditional features once again and the furnishings, this is actually Behind this one is a TV cabinet. There we go. Fans above, lights above, light flooding in. And you're about to see the first bathroom, full bathroom of the house. Come on inside and take a look. Marble walls. This is a really modern bathroom. The bathrooms of the home of the bedrooms have been recently renovated and this one has a beautiful marble wall and a skylight, walk-in, shower, single vanity, high ceilings, very nice. 
Let's step on outside of this room, and I want to take us to the second floor of the home, where we'll, we'll explore some more bedrooms. Come with me. So we're back at the landing area of the home, coming up to the second floor. Come with me and let's explore some bedrooms. Walking this way, you've got a beautiful hallway connecting three bedrooms together. We'll start with the master bedroom, come on through. Wooden flooring throughout this space. You've got views from your bed to the Atlantic Ocean. Remember we're at the top of Fresne, beautiful area. Of course it comes with the master bedroom uh, suite, which we'll explore in a moment. You've got your built-in wardrobe cupboards, which wraps around into the bathroom. I love the wooden feature above the bed and the, wooden uh, the wall texture behind. Really lovely. All right, guys, let's head on through this way. It's very airy, the air flows through this space, the light's flooding in. Beautiful double vanity design, marble top, exquisite light features around, marble wall, your water closet, and check this beautiful bathtub. Absolutely gorgeous, with a beautiful view over the Atlantic Ocean. Truly stunning. All right, so you've got a walk-in shower here. Lovely walk-in shower with marble. Let me, the marble, this marble wall is, well, it seems to be one solid piece that comes around. Rain shower above, mirrored above as well. I guess it's just reflecting that light off the ocean. The ocean is sparkling like diamonds today. And this freestanding bathtub is also quite beautiful. Okay guys, let's step on outside the master bedrooms en suite and check out the office which connects to this room. Stepping on this way into the office area, it is currently occupied with personal belongings, so we'll whiz through to the other side. We have this lovely terrace with the sun shining down. I can imagine waking up, working my way from my master bedroom suite Having a seat here with a little espresso and watching the Atlantic Ocean. The sun would actually rise right, right in front of me. Signal Hill is right here. We'll make sure to get that on camera for you. Palm trees, blue sky. This is beautiful. I am in love with Cape Town. Okay, guys, so this terrace actually connects to one of the other bedrooms on this level, which we'll take a look at. Very airy, very light. All the bedrooms in this house are air conditioned, except for two. This one is air conditioned. Lovely space, very white. Let's check out this bathroom. Another beautiful bathroom. I love this black marble that they have as a feature on that wall. Single vanity, lovely tops, mirrored, walk-in shower, rain shower head, hand shower. This is all mirrored, very cool, and a water closet over here. Very airy, quite a large walk-in bathroom. Okay guys, coming this way, we'll check out the last room on this level, wooden flooring continues. This is on the back of the house. I love it has a little balcony here actually, opening up to the courtyard which the dining room flows into. You can really hear the trees rustling. You can almost hear the water feature. I can see the driveway from here. It's super lush. I, I feel like I'm standing in Bali right now. It's almost unbelievable. Okay guys, I love what they've done with this house. Stepping into the bathroom, once again, it's unique. Every, like I mentioned, every bathroom in this house has a unique style. This has a really beautiful stitched texture back wall which goes around the bathroom. Single vanity design, marble flooring, large mirror, and a walk-in shower with a lovely stone on the back wall. All right, guys, that does complete this floor. In fact, there is actually one more space on this level I want to show you, come with me. 
You'll see in front of me over there, there is another bedroom where right now it's being occupied as an office space. It has a beautiful ensuite bathroom. We'll make sure to sh get some Im footage in there for you, but I'm not gonna go up there today, but you can see the lovely footlights going up. It's, there's a lovely skylight here as well, bringing natural light into this space. It is an exquisite bedroom with a beautiful bathtub, and we'll make sure to get that on footage for you guys. All right, so now I think it's time to go explore the outside balcony terrace area which leads down to the pool and the tennis court. I'll see you down there. So we're back at the downstairs area where you've got your fireplace and the informal dining area, which leads onto the terrace. This terrace does wrap around to the kitchen and to the TV room, which we saw earlier. But I just want to take us around here to show us the beautiful views, these lovely wooden design above and the awnings above me. Look at the informal dining space outside. I love this large wooden table sitting there with your guests, enjoying the view. Beautiful, almost European design now, so it's like, a mixture, you've got your Venetian blinds. I love this color of the house and the marble stone flooring, which continues down the steps from the terrace. I think we should go down and have a look at the pool area. Come with me. It's perfect weather today. Lovely palm trees. The scenery is gorgeous. It smells fantastic. This level is amazing. I'm really excited to show it to you. You've got your sunbeds, a beautiful pool over here with some greenery and bench seating, which we'll see in a moment. But right in front of me, I want to show you this area, outdoor bar. You've got your fridges, an ice machine. You have a sink. It lights up really nicely. We'll try to get that on footage for you guys at night so you can see how this place really lights up quite exquisitely. Moving on this way, this is really cool. Come on through. A gym. Yes, you do have a gym in this house. Lovely wooden floorings, mirrored backdrop over there, and guest bathroom. Lovely guest bathroom, Swedish wood, marble vanity, and a mirror. Really light in here, very modern. And through this door, I have something extremely unique for you. You're going to love this. All right, so I'm opening up the doors for you so you can see the room. Just remember, this room flows in from the pool area and the bar. It's incredible. I love this marble featured wall behind me. This is an awesome space. Has air conditioning and the surround sound system continues in here as well. This is the steam room with the same marble featured wall which continues from the other side. Rain shower head above, bench seating. This is a lovely steam room. And of course, over here to my left is the sauna. Come and have a look. We also have surround sound system in the sauna. Very large. I love this black mirror they have at the back. And it has a glass wall over here so you can see out. Very, very cool. I love this area. Your guests would love it. And it's incredible that it's by the pool. All right, your guests would love this area. Let's go back outside to the garden and pool area. Come with me. fresh breeze today. I'd like to just take us back here towards this bar in the sun beds and look at this lovely poolside, really European. I love these fern trees. I love the doors and the view to my right, truly exquisite. Let's check out this bedroom. There is a bedroom by the poolside. Stepping on in, fan above. I love the backdrop behind the bed. I love that wall. And of course it is an ensuite. So let's check that out. Similar to the guest powder room, which we saw by the entranceway. Very nice, traditional. You've got that Balinese feel once again. Single vanity design with a marble top and a shower. All right, let's step outside this bedroom, which has access to the pool. We'll have a walk around. We'll have a look at the informal dining area over here. Very large bench seating. And to my right over there, that's an area of the garden which leads up to the bonsai garden, which they we saw above. 
coming this way around the pool. Nice grass area, bench seating around, and look at these views. I need to show you these views. Come with me. This is beautiful once again, the Atlantic Ocean. This home is exquisite. And from here, you can really see the grandeur of this house. If you want to come over here and have a look at the facade, the architectural design, you can see the European style as well as the interior. It just has a nice mixture of Balinese and European. Really, really beautiful. All right, guys, so there is another level to this garden which I want us to see, and that will bring us to the last two bedrooms of this home. Follow me. beautiful greenery. I'm sure it keeps the gardener very busy. Actually down this pathway there is another bedroom which would be the ninth bedroom but we're not going to see it today as it is currently occupied. Follow me down these steps. You do have footlights. To my right is the tennis court which we'll get to in a moment but first let's go this way. I love this garden. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a jungle right now. <laughs> it's very cool. And we'll look at these two bedrooms here. Stepping on in, nice wooden flooring, very spacious in here and airy. It's called air conditioning. I love this platform they have here with the seating, built-in cupboards, and this bathroom you're going to love. Wooden flooring continues in, separates into marble with this lovely stone around, and look at this marble wall. Also on the vanity, it's the same marble got your water closet to my right. This is a really cool room. And there is one more room which is very similar next door. It's very shaded down here near the tennis courts. Like I mentioned earlier, this could be a boutique hotel as you can see why. There are steps here that lead down to the tennis courts as well. Stepping on into this room, wooden flooring again, almost a mirror match to the room we just explored, a nice platform. And this bathroom, again, is unique with its own style. Beautiful mosaic, like a golden mosaic design all around. Two single vanities with a marble top and a walk-in shower. All right, guys, that does complete the bedrooms. Now, let's go take a look at the tennis court. Come with me. I feel like I'm walking in a jungle right now. I could be in Bali. Except I've got the beautiful Atlantic Ocean in front of me and I'm on the hill of Lion's Head. Lovely water feature to my left. S you've got spotlights, you've got footlights. There's the other staircase which leads to the area we saw before. Voila, your private home tennis court. Look how stunning this is. The only private tennis court in Frasne, Bantry Bay area. To my right is the pump for the boreholes which this home does have for the irrigation system, lovely flower beds, retainer wall, and let's go and explore this incredible area. I mean, this is amazing. It look, it's an astroturf, lawn, sea views. This is such a cool spot. Look at this, it has a basketball hoop. I mean, why not? Now I know what they do with a 3,027 square meter lot. You build a tennis court, because why not? It has sea views, you've got the space. They have spotlights, so at nighttime you could be playing with your friends or your kids, shooting some hoops. There's surround sound speakers as well. You could be listening to music. This, true, this home is truly epic. All right, guys, I'll see you upstairs.
All right, guys, that does bring us to the end of another exclusive episode here on Alia Homes. Today has been truly magnificent. I've loved the different style of property that we have toured today. It has been extraordinary. I love the location. A little reminder for you guys, it is listed at 120 million Rand. I'd like to give a special thanks again to Lance Cohen for allowing us to tour his beautiful property that he has listed. And also a great thanks to Cape Town Luxury Car Rentals for allowing us to use one of their cars from their fleet. All right, guys, if you have any comments, please drop them in the section below. If you would like to purchase the property, our contacts are in the section below as well. Just send me an email. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.